Hey everyone, I'm Kalpreet Virwal and I'm back with a video. And in this video, I'm going to begin something which I had been planning for a long time. So I've been planning to do this show called Talk with IITians where I bring different people from different walks of life. Uh, some of my friends, some of my batchmates from IIT Bombay uh, who have been really successful or who have been studying here or, or any anything of that sort. So today I'm starting with episode 1 and here I have with me some international students. Uh, so basically these are students who have been studying in some different universities and have come here for a semester or two uh, just to experience a different flavor, the Indian flavor of education. And uh, so I'll just be interviewing some of them. They are from different uh, countries like Canada, Germany, Ethiopia. It's a very, it's a very diverse crowd. So I hope you'll enjoy it. So let's start. So hey Simon, uh, would you like to tell us a bit about yourself? Hey, yeah, as told, I'm Simon. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Germany, Munich. I'm studying electrical engineering in my master's right now and I'm from the Technical University of Munich. Uh, so, would you like to share a bit about the differences you saw between this education or the overall environment at IIT or in India compared to, uh, say, in Germany where you're from and your university? Okay, yes, of course. Like the main difference between like uh, studying in Germany and studying here at IITB is the campus university. So basically in Munich, where I'm studying, we all um, just live off the campus. So when university is over, we leave the campus and we have to meet at the sports club or whatever, but we're not together all the time. And that's what I like here a lot, because like you're surrounded by your friends all the time. It's easy to hang out. You're never alone. You can study together, but you can go out together. You can have lunch together. And what I like a lot is also that there are a lot of sports facilities. So you can go out, go to the gym, you can go play basketball, badminton, whatever. And it's all on campus. It's easy to reach. You don't need a car. You don't need public transport or anything. I think the main difference about education is that in Europe, Europe in general, we don't have really assignments and we don't have like mid -sems and something like that. So you're not supposed to learn during the semester and you're not supposed to do anything. But in the end, you have your ANSEM. That might be good because you're not forced to do anything during the semester, but it's pretty bad in the end because you have to study a lot. You usually keep up the studying till the end and then you're in India, it's not better, but it's different. Like you're forced to study, so it's easier in the end when it comes to the answers. So that are the main differences between India and Germany. Okay, so what are your plans for the future and what do you plan to do after going back home from IIT? Okay, when uh, the semester is over, I'm planning to travel a little bit. I already planned the flight to the Andamans. So I'm going to see a lot of more of India. Then I'll do the Himalayas afterwards. After that, I'll travel to Maldives, meet some friends in Sri Lanka, go surfing, go back to India, travel there a little bit. Then I'll continue with an internship at my university. And in October, like semester life will start again and everything will be quite normal. Okay. Thanks a lot for your time, Simon. You're welcome. Hey, Naomi, would you like to introduce yourself to us? Hey, uh, my name is Naomi and I'm 21. I come from France. So, Naomi, would you like to tell us what do you study in IIT and how your life has been uh, till now at IIT and how do you compare it with your uh, education in your college and back in France? Okay, so here I'm studying nuclear engineering. As there is no nuclear engineering department here, I take courses in four different departments here. So I'm taking courses in mechanical, energy, physics, and geology. So like it's a lot of different things, but then I can see uh, different aspects of uh, my field here. Uh, how do you how do you compare the education which you received here or the overall country overall nature of the country India as compared to the culture of France or the educational culture of France and all of that in every field? Um, I think the mentality of the teachers and the students are really different from uh, the one of France. I, I think in IATB the uh, mentality is really more like uh, competitive, like the students are more into uh, having the best grades that they can and working like very hard. As in France, when you're in engineering school, it's not exactly like this, like you are more about uh, finding internship and uh, interesting in your field and the concepts. And uh, another thing which is really different is that uh, I think Indian students and teachers are really um, used to do everything at the last minute, whereas uh, European people are not used <laughs> to do it at all. So <laughs> as European students here, we have to adapt to it. It's okay, but I don't think we have the same way to cope 
with the stress of the last minute work. So, uh, what are your future plans and what do you plan to do just after you get out of the campus, after your semester? Okay, so uh, I will just write my exam in two weeks, then I will be done and I will travel across India because I didn't have uh, so, so much time to discover the whole country because I had a lot of work here. So I will travel around during one month to discover a lot of different parts of India. And uh, after that, I will go back to France and then in the UK for doing an internship in uh, the nuclear engineering uh, field. Thanks a lot for your time. So, hey Shekhar, just introduce yourself to us. Sure, uh, my name is Shekhar Kumar and I'm a student at the University of Toronto studying industrial engineering. I've been uh, at IIT Bombay for the past semester as an exchange student. Okay, so how, have, how has your experience at IIT been so far? Uh, it's been a pretty wonderful experience. I think we've got a, a really great community of exchange students. Uh, a lot of us have similar goals in that we wanted to get a new experience from what we were getting back home and I think we've been successful in achieving that. Uh, academically, I felt really challenged and, uh, and pushed to sort of grow above and beyond um, the, the curriculum that was, that was given to us. Um, and, and socially and personally, I found there's a lot of activities that you can get involved with on campus. So for instance, uh, many cultural events, many sports activities. Um, and so all in all, it's been a pretty great experience. Uh, so uh, would you like to just tell what's the difference between the education in your country versus in India? Sure, yeah. I think uh, in India, there's a greater emphasis on assessments. So I found that uh, my courses were mainly marked through the mid-semester and end-semester examinations. Whereas back home, there's also a greater priority given to tutorials and labs. Um, furthermore, I found there to be a greater emphasis on theory rather than pra practical aspects. Um, and so we're really grilled on you know, textbook definitions and textbook material, but not so much on how this theory can be applied in the real world. Um, Besides academically, I found socially the community here to be a lot more involved and engaged. It seems like the IITs also have an emphasis on making you a well-rounded individual. And so if you want to get involved in anything besides academics, there's ample opportunity for that. Um, tons of clubs. Uh, the Gymkhana is also very active on campus and they do a lot of events throughout the semester. Um, so on that front, I think uh, the IITs are a lot better. Okay, so Shekhar, would you like to share something about your future plans and what you plan to do after you go back home from here? Sure. Um, I think going back home, I have uh, one year left, so I'm hoping to wrap up my degree and then continue my studies with graduate school afterwards. Okay. Thanks a lot for sharing your views.